That's a lovely piece. I call these botanical blueprints because I use seaweed. Oh, that's really nice. It's seaweed Debbie Laughlin finds washed up on a beach just a few miles from her in-home studio in South Walderboro. This here was a piece of seaweed. That's right. Actually, it's the shape of a piece of seaweed, which Debbie transforms into a chart of some fictional island. Small stuff. But to make it happen takes both imagination and an age-old photographic science. Well, it's basically cyanotype, a uh, type of alternative photography, one of the first kinds of photography. This is sea lettuce. The whole process starts with a piece of fresh seaweed, which Debbie lays on glass. And that is when the imagination goes to work. Look, there's a harbor here. A harbor, these lovely sandbar. There's a beautiful mountain range up here. From there, she puts the seaweed on a special photographic paper. Check it. This is the cyanotype method. And look at that. As the paper develops under light, it changes colors, leaving an impression, or in Debbie's case, an island. And that is when the wheels really start spinning. So I start to figure out where there might be like uh, quicksand on the island, or maybe there's an old boat that's sunken off the island somewhere, or I create these things in my head. She likes to admit that her head is filled with all kinds of wacky and whimsical ideas. Each map, an assemblage of weird words or sayings that she's collected over the years. They can be uh, everything from zippity doo da to, um, you know, north of ho-hum. While Debbie's maps are totally make-believe, they are born from a very real-world affection. I'm from one of the islands in Casco Bay, and so I'm kind of very island-bound in my heart, and that's what comes out in my work. But again, that's about all that is real about these island charts fashioned from the shapes of seaweed. Always suitable for framing, appreciating, but never for navigating. No, never. And I try to write that at the bottom, not to be used for a nautical chart, <laughs> because you never know, right? You never know. And by the way, Debbie says different types of seaweed create different colors. Most of them are shades of blue, green, or even copper. 